Yeah, hello, I'm Retro Jules, and how are you on this fine, sunny day? Well, at least it's fine and sunny in the UK on this Saturday afternoon. It's been a while, I've been on holiday and I'm back, and I was hoping my first video would have been a I'm back from holiday video, but I come back to some great news about some new tanks. And I also come back to 3,000 subscribers, which is fantastic. And I would just like to say thank you very much. And to those of you who are fairly new to the channel, welcome, hello. And just to let you guys know, I'm a very average player. If you're thinking you've subscribed to a channel where you're gonna see Devastator medals and Top Gun medals and amazing gameplay, you have subscribed to the wrong channel. I'm just a very average, I'm quite often below average, and very often crap player who just enjoys the game, enjoys making videos, and enjoys the community and talking to you guys. My channel isn't monetized, it's purely a hobby and just a bit of fun. But welcome and thank you for your subscriptions. I'm quite surprised I've reached 3,000. Even though the subscribers have been going up, I have also been losing subscribers on the way, whether that's a reflection of the channel or perhaps a reflection of the game as well, I don't know. But 3,000 subscribers, that's amazing. So, update 4.7 is imminent and we're going to get some new Soviet tanks. We're going to get the Tier 8 ISM Heavy, the Tier 9 Object 257 Heavy, the Tier 9 Object 705 Heavy, and at Tier 10, the Object 430U Medium, the K91 Medium, the Object 705A Heavy, the Object 277 Heavy, and finally, the Object 268 V4 Tank Destroyer. Now, with the introduction of these new Soviet tanks, there are a few very small tweaks to the tech tree. I will put the notes up in front of you and I'll show you the PC tech tree to give you an idea of what's coming. But if you are heading for the IS-7 and you're currently grinding the T-10, then you need to get that done before the update if you want the IS-7. Otherwise, the T-10 heavy is actually going to end up leading to the new Object 277. And also, if you're grinding the Object 416 at the moment to head for the T-54 medium, you also need to get that done before the update. Otherwise, the tech tree is going to change in such a way that you won't be heading for the tank that you were originally grinding for. I'm really excited to see the tech tree is changing and new tanks coming in. I've kind of already expressed my feelings about the mercenary tanks and mercenaries and that's all done and dusted now. I've had my say, you've had your say and this is great to see some new tanks coming in. On the back of mercenaries, it's probably good that people have got new tanks to grind, new interests and new ways of playing the game. I do quite like the idea of the contract scheme. I, I would think at tiers 9 and 10 it would be quite good within the tech trees and the packages to perhaps put these what I call little stumbling blocks if you like these little objectives that you have to reach and not just XP that you have to play for because everyone can get to tier 10 without any skill you just have to play enough. And funnily enough that's pretty much how I've got to tier 10 and I think maybe if they were to introduce not contracts but these little missions that you have to accomplish at the higher tiers I think that would be brilliant just to make some of the tanks perhaps a little bit harder to reach perhaps making the higher tiers a little bit more specific and relative to those who play well and also I think it would perhaps keep a bit of longevity in the game because a lot of players who play a lot, and quite deservedly so, have an awful lot of free XP. And they can just free XP these tanks and just unlock them straight away. 
And I perhaps think that if new high tier tanks come into the game, then maybe to help the longevity of the game, it would be quite good if people still had to grind for them. Don't know how you feel about that idea. It was just something that I thought about. And on the back of the mercenaries and the contracts, I thought that could actually work quite well in the game and perhaps bring some skill into the higher tiers, which may well stop me getting new tanks, but that's neither here nor there. Anyway, it's great to be back. Just a quick video today. New Russian tanks coming soon, and who knows what other goodies there will be in update 4.7. Keep safe, keep tanking, and I'll see you soon.